Hello everyone and welcome back. By now, I will have released the Ion Car Meetup, Ion Car Show, I'm not sure what I'm calling it, probably like Ion Car Meet or something like that. Um, a video that I ended up going and uh, as though it were live action, seeing the various Saturn Ions uh, in person but in die-cast scale. Um, years ago, I got the blue Saturn Ion, that one that uh, originally came out for the dealers and whatever. Uh, and then, after getting into the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing Channel, decided to look and get all of the other Ions. But of course, one was missing. My Ion, Faith. And if you've seen the video, you know that she's in there. Um, as well as Archangel, um, a version of the green light Volt. These are all Hot Wheels, they're the same casting, they just had different releases and paints, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure in the Ion Car Meet video I go more into detail about that stuff, but I don't know. <laughs> I haven't written the script yet. I intend to, but we'll see where the script takes me. Uh, and of course the green light one turned into Archangel. It took me a long time to get those commissioned. Um, I started with one person, and he kept being like, try again next month, yes, I want to do this, but I'm busy, contact me a month from now, kind of thing. And eventually he just said, I, I won't be able to take this on, I'm moving on to working on dioramas. That's fine, I totally understand, you do what is best for you. It took me a while to find someone, and finally, I found Custom Diecast Garage on Instagram. And I got in touch with him, and he was like, oh yeah, that sounds awesome send them to me, we'll do this right away. Um, you know, the price was fair and all that. I loved seeing what was going on on Instagram. Uh, he was like, yeah, give me like a couple pictures of the cars that you want to, to base them off of, because I told him to base off of actual cars, and I sent probably too much info. So my apologies on that. Um, and he sent me pictures this past weekend. And it was so amazing to see but I haven't seen them in person. That is what is in this box. So I'm gonna open this up and see the die-cast models for Archangel and for Faith. I haven't seen those in person. Um, <clears throat> and it's possible that I'm going to cry when I see Faith. Um, I actually re-watched, uh, while, while talking about her with uh, some friends, I re-watched the video that I did of, of saying goodbye to her. Make sure I don't show the address label. I this to open. Thank you. Um, and I like just looking at the pictures I was sent. Um, you know, there's a lot of fine detail that like can you can only get so much at the 164 scale. Um, and uh, you know, there, there's a few things that were left off, and that's fine. I more or less gave it to his discretion as far as. Um, as far as what could fit on the vehicles and so forth. Sorry about the mic noise there. Um, but I, I was impressed looking at the pictures, how much was on there. So let's see these in person. Okay, so when I sent them, I sent, um, I sent a green light volt, exactly like this one, the Black Bandit series. And I also sent this Raptor series one, let me, like that. When I originally did it, I was thinking of sending the blue one, the one that actually looks like a real world Volt, has the details for headlights and tail lights and all that, and eventually realized these are getting harder and harder to find and command the highest price. Um, plus I like the interior color and the tinted windows better on the Raptor one, so that's what was sent. I also, um, you will notice the wheels will be different. I sent along just a Volvo that I picked up at Dollar General and said, hey, could we do a, a wheel swap while we're at it, too? I keep pushing it off because I'm so, like, okay, so looking here, I got the bottoms of the cars. So, and there's some red around there, and we got the dark color there, and I see the yellow, that's probably the Volvo. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so Archangel first. Put them in a little case with packing popcorn. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Okay, so it's a little darker, I think, than Archangel in real life. 
but wow. Oh my gosh, that detail came out awesome. Come on, get that out of here. He did a great job painting the front back to the silver um, fake grill after the new color went on. Um, the Archangel logo underneath the wing mirrors. And on the back, even got the Archangel name in addition to the logo and even my license plate, the boater license plate at the back. Got the Archangel logo detail. That looks so good. Um, Archangel doesn't have as much detail on him as Faith does. Um, but still, like, that looks really cool. I do think that that paint is a little on the dark side to match. It might have actually been a little bit closer... I think he's a little closer to what that blue is right there, but that still looks great. Um, and it's got a metallic color to it. He was asking me like matte or metallic, and it's got that really cool metallic look. So that's Archangel. Open up the Volvo real quick. I'm I I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna cry. I feel pretty good. I I watched the the goodbye to Faith video that I did. I think I said that already. And uh, I didn't cry, but I definitely um, welled up a bit in watching it, especially when I when I hugged her goodbye at the end. Yep, here's the Volvo that has the uh, the wheels that used to be on the Ion are on here now. You can just kind of sit back there. Okay. Oh my God! Like. I saw the pictures, but oh my god. Oh my god. I, I'm sorry, I have nothing more constructive to say than just oh my god about seven times. Or whatever, maybe I put a counter down there, I don't know. Went with a really high detail version of the tattoos on the sides. Got the, the painted eye tattoo there. Um, even, even, even the, this one doesn't have the painted in lower grill, that's been filled in black. Oh, oh my gosh, I think he put a really thin line of black between the hood and the bumper. Cause, okay, so, mm, mm, hold on, Faith needs to be viewed from that corner. Cause like, Saturn design is, like, there wasn't a grill that, as we know it a lot with like, the logo going on there. Even the fake one that's on the Volt, it's just hood, bumper, and the Ion had, like, this much space that was really, like, air intake, as well as, like, right at the bottom of the bumper. Those wheels look amazing. So those are ten-spoke wheels that came off of the Volvo. Um, Faith had eight spokes, but, like, unless you're sitting there and counting, they look dead on. Painted them black, put the red spots at the end of, of each of them. Oh my god, and just... Moving it just a little bit, but they and they blur to that nice like red circle when it's being driven. You used a slightly different shade of red for the tail lights, um, ringed by black, and that's just like I think the red was very similar on Faith. It might have been a little darker, and then it was like a dark red. It was just the lens. It wasn't necessarily black, but it sticks out so good. And again, with a license plate on the back, there's like a little sticker here. And like I can kind of see, so so the details of uh, on the back are not like one to one accurate. The Saturn logo or the 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 stamp on the back bumper, what I what I called Faith's tramp stamp, um, is is a little too large um, when looked at it in scale. But like looking at it just from here, it's perfect. Um, her name isn't on the back trunk lid as uh, Archangel's is, but also her name was like a lot closer spaced together. And a funky thing about Hot Wheels that people don't realize is that compared to the one-to-one, -one, they are shorter and wider. Um, and so what fits on a more accurate 164th scale green light here might not necessarily look as good here. I am super impressed looking at it that he even got the license plate in there. And sure enough, the one on Archangel is my current one, the white one with Boater. You can even see the barest suggestions of detail of what is actually a Cowboy Bebop license plate frame. And 
and on faith the barest suggestion of detail around the yellow boater plate of the Saturn of Mohawk Valley plate frame. Um, yep, and then just the holes filled in at the bottom because of the wheel swap. That looks so good. Um, the detail in the headlights that, again, wasn't even on the official Hot Wheels one. Not that this was, like, one of their collector series ones. You may notice that the, um, the casting doesn't have wing mirrors, like, the side mirrors. So it wasn't like a high detail one, but like the one made for the dealerships and for the launch of the Ion at a car show, I forget exactly which one, um, I will probably put it in the script for Ion Car Meet. Like this doesn't have the yellow turn signal in there. It has um, a bit for a um, fog light, which Faith didn't have, and here it's just been blacked out like the rest of the lower grille. The Saturn logo, put on the hood. This is... This is incredible. Oh my gosh, the, the tail lights are actually a metallic paint, as opposed to... Uh, Faith has more of a, a flat um, red, rather than the metallic flake that Archangel has. But to kind of signify the light and the retro reflectors... It probably doesn't come through on camera, but the paint for the tail lights is a metallic paint. Um, the headlights, as I asked, are slightly smokier to reflect the headlights that we swapped in a year before I got rid of Faith. Um, oh my gosh. This, I'm not crying, I just, um, still getting over a cold. I am welling a little bit. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, a, uh, a sticker slash business card, custom Hot Wheels, call or email for more info. Yeah, so, um, Custom Diecast Garage on Instagram is who did this. Uh, there's the sticker. Uh, and I will make sure that that sticker ends up in the car meet video. Let me just make sure there's nothing else. In here, there's something. There's a piece of paper. Thank you. Best. And then his name. Um, yeah. I... This was amazing. Um, after waiting more than half a year to get these done, um, to have worked with someone that... Uh, was so expedient. I think um, I sent them out on a Saturday and then two weeks later on the Sunday he said hey your customs are done and texted me photos um, and he originally had a different license plate on the back of Archangel that was in a different one of the reference photos I would say hey could you please swap that for the one that's on this photo um, and he was like yeah yeah did that shot me a photo and I said that's great and he said cool it's packed up and it's on the way so less than a three-week turnaround for me sending it out to getting them back. Um, and such attention to detail. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, I cannot recommend him enough. Uh, it looks like he painted the wheels on Archangel silver in going for um, the reference photo where I had his winter rims on as opposed to his summer rims which are black. And originally I had asked about the black rims, but then I, I saw those through silver and I said, you know what, that's fine because it does kind of stand out as a contrast to the black that's on the Black Bandit series. Let that one be all blacked out. And then uh, we've got this one with the, the winter rims, which are kind of more of a gunmetal than the silver. It's an interesting, you know, kind of compromise between black and silver. It's kind of gunmetal color. Um... Sorry, I had a moment to stop and reflect that, um, okay, now I'm going to cry. Uh, the car that I had for 10 years that I said goodbye to in September of 2020, and that I still really miss sometimes, 
I've now got a little Hot Wheels version of um, and this means so much to me I don't think I realized like I thought oh maybe I'm gonna you know get emotional or whatever but I didn't realize until holding this how much this means to me. Um, this was um, a, you know, it was, it was a paid commission. I paid for it. The price was fair and all that. But um, maybe just as a, a gift to myself. This is amazing. And there's so much, like, the detail of the black around the windows. Um, the black trim there. That, again, is is on the official Hot Wheels version. Sorry, Archangel, but this is Faith's show today. <laughs> it's kind of like this this um, medium gray on the Hot Wheels version. Has been painted black uh, to match what was actually on the car. Um, yeah, sorry, that's, that's from crying now. Um, It's amazing. I'm so glad that I found those um, something with those ten spoke wheels that's able to be her customized summer rims. Um, and, and that wheel swap worked great. And now you know we've got the other wheels are back on the Volvo, and this will probably be in the background of that video. Um, thank you. Uh, I don't have anything more to add. Uh, I'm gonna go show Steph, and I'm gonna squee, and I'm gonna be like, it's so awesome. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. Um, and then, uh, I need to write the car meet video. Um, the diorama for that is not in yet. I'll probably do another video of unboxing that. Make sure that's still good. Um, and, uh, you know, when that comes in, then I'll be able to shoot. Uh, I'm getting a tire rotation put in the summer rooms on Archangel next Friday, so I need to shoot my live action part, probably before I even get the diorama. So I definitely need to script this weekend. I need to shoot the live action part um, next week, or like Sunday or something. Yeah, I'll probably aim for that. And uh, yeah, I, I'm getting really excited to make that. Uh, but I mentioned that Archangel's paint is maybe a little too dark. Faith's color match is perfect. Oh my god. I need to go blow my nose. I'm going to leave you guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much, Steve at Custom Diecast Garage, for, for doing this. It came out so good. I am so happy with how they came out. It means the world to me that um, you were able to just say, hey, that sounds like a really cool project. I would love to. And you were just on it. Uh, uh, and how they came out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, if you haven't yet, the Ion Car Meet video that I mentioned is linked in the description below. It was probably linked in an iCard during the video. Um, I will be reviewing the, the, the diorama when it comes in uh, by GFans. Uh, and, and we'll take it from there. But, uh, <sighs> thank you. Make sure you're following me on social media. Subscribe right here on YouTube for more cool videos, either with these or Let's Plays or whatever else. Um, support me at Patreon and Ko-Fi.com slash BuilderBug. That helps me to do things like this, to do videos where I need to get things like that. Um, that, that helps out, but, you know, even if not for Patreon, this was money well spent. And, um, if a diecast version exists of a car that you own currently or that you owned in the past, I highly recommend reaching out to someone. Um, I, I can't recommend Custom Diecast Garage enough um, for, you know, if you want to get a version of it for yourself, especially if it's a car that you put a lot into, a lot of your soul, a lot of your heart, uh, and, you know, in this case, a lot of customization. Um, it means so much more than just getting just the ion that I had here. This now in the lineup of ions it's so good so okay 
I've said bye like seven times, so.